What's up, y'all? It's your boy James Worthy, Grammy Award producer, songwriter, recording artist, actor, all jacks of the trade, and you're watching Hip Hop Weekly magazine. Humble greatness. <laughs> Okay, Hip Hop Weekly All Access. This is your girl Brianna, and we are here live today with the one and only James Worthy. Hey, hey. It's a pleasure having you here. Man, thank you for having me on the platform, man. It's an honor. Okay, most definitely. So, introduce yourself, let everybody know who you are. Um, I'm James Worthy. I'm a Grammy Award producer, songwriter. I'm a recording artist, actor. Um, pretty much I do it all, <laughs> basically. Okay. Okay. So you have like a plethora of, you know, yeah, talents. Yeah, you know, we wear many hats. Okay. I see. I see. Well, how long have you been in the industry? Oh, man. Uh, roughly about 13 years now. Um, I started pretty young, so um, just kind of going through the phases of the industry, the ups and downs, you know, the changes and all of that. So um, I've learned a lot throughout that duration of time. And, you know, now we, we stronger and bigger than ever. Okay. All right. Yeah, I see that you've worked with some of the greats, um, Arrested Development, BNGB, yeah. Bone Crusher. Yeah. Uh, who are you working with now? Man, uh, from Black to... Uh, from Luda to uh, Ty Dolla Sign, I forty seven, um, plethora of artists. Yeah. Okay. So the what are you currently doing with the artists now? Um, I mean, of course, I'm producing and writing uh, okay. for most of them, but uh, even past that, really, my my biggest focus right now is my album, uh, which is called Blue Leisure. So I'm uh, scheduled to drop that into this year. Uh, so that's really been the biggest focus, but I'm always uh, producing and writing for artists, too. Okay. So what um, can we expect from this project? Like, what what is your process in, you know, getting it created? And, you know, you said the target date is by the end of the year. Yeah. Um, describe your process. Well, the process was a little bit differently back when I was just doing production and writing. You know, it could have been a... Um, something starting with a melody or, or starting with some type of lyric idea that I had in my head and I'll turn it into a melody which turned into the track. But now um, I really just kind of write what I feel or what I just encountered or something I just went through and then it'll turn into, okay, let me make the melody around the words and then I'll just make the track around it or I'll have my other producers make something that I think would match the tone of the uh, melodies and then just keep going from there. You know, um, also too, like when I'm in the studio, I don't like a lot of people in the studio. I don't like a lot going on. Like it kind of mm -hmm. distracts me. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm pretty simple. I like dim lights, mm -hmm. maybe some candles or something and myself, my engineer, one of my writers and that's it. Pretty much a calm ambiance. Yeah. I, I like a yeah. calm environment, you know, yeah. positive energy. You know, I, I, that's that's the time when I get really creative because once you got so many different distractions, it's like mm -hmm. you kind of get veered off and then you probably don't even remember what you was about to do, you know? What is a typical way to describe your, I guess, what do you, what's gone through your mind when you, when you, when you're writing or when you're creating a beat? Like, what does it take for you to get that aha moment? This is it. Um... It's just the feeling, you know, like I, I got to I got to feel it in here for me to really convey what I'm trying to talk about or what I'm trying to do, because, you know, I take my artistry serious. I take what I say serious. And, you know, the music that I make is for R&B and it's for for the ladies. But at the same time, um, a lot of it is experience. A lot of it is more so relatability uh, for people to kind of, you know, say hey you know, i've been through something similar you know maybe in a relationship or love or you know i met this girl in the club and she did me wrong blah blah, blah you know stuff like that so when i write i kind of write from experiences and then i just kind of maybe tweak it a little bit here and there okay so what can we expect from your the current project that you're going to put out man you can expect a lot of different infusions of genres you're gonna um, expect a lot of melody a lot of uh, great arrangements, 
great production. Um, I'm really putting my all into this album. You know, I'm, I'm really, I'm a perfectionist. So if, if something's not right, um, I scrap it really, really fast. So I've been working on this album for probably a year now. And um, it's probably, I don't want to say my best work because that's like the cliche way of saying stuff. But, you know, I, I really think um, from my body of work, from what I've done musically, I think this is probably the the most I've ever took my time with it. You know what I mean? Because I, I think it's that much important for R&B. So uh, what made you decide to step into being an actual artist? I mean, I, of course, you're surrounded by yeah. that. You know, that's what you, I guess, eat, sleep and breathe. Yeah. Uh, music but what inspired you to step outside of your you know comfort zone and you know um be an artist i always kind of wanted to do it um even early in my career i always wanted to get into artistry but you know sometimes you got to do things to get your foot in the door to get to a certain level and also too i've always um I've always just had people around me that told me i should do it and had a great voice for it i had a great um image for it and um you know one day i was just like you know what i'm gonna start doing things that i want to do because for a while you know sometimes you get stagnant and helping other people and you know you just kind of get in the box of hey you know let me just keep this wave and you know sometimes you get scared to go somewhere else but i'm like nah man I i've been a rebel from from the jump i don't do what everybody else does so i'm like i'm gonna just focus on me and that's what i've been doing and um you know, I've sung background for, for other major artists before and I've done stuff, you know, in that vein. But now I'm just taking it to mainstream. OK. OK. Nice. So let's talk a little bit about you being an actor. You mm -hmm. mentioned that early on. You know, how's that? Man, it's actually really dope. Um, I love acting. Like it's it's like a different form of uh, expression i always say because everything that i do is a form of a form of expression but it's like acting you can kind of um it's like a i don't know it's it's hard to explain but it's like a it's in, it comes from here so when you when you convey a different character or a different person it's like it's kind of you but it's not like it's it's hard to explain but i really really uh i really enjoy it um i was actually in my first movie last year called love by chance uh which um it was pretty star-studded terry vaughn clifton powell carl Payne. It was it was real dope okay yeah all right do you see yourself um uh, being in more films and Absolutely. tv shows that's the goal um definitely more feature films Definitely more television appearances and, and uh, television shows. Right now, I'm not really too big on being a cast member on a show right now. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, appearances are cool in and out. You know, I'm, I'm not trying to be the, the reality TV star guy. <laughs> Have you guy. been asked yet? <laughs> oh, yeah. I've, I've definitely been approached, you know. Okay. Love and Hip Hop been trying to get me. <laughs> you know, VH1, MTV, they've been trying to get me. But right now, we on a mission, you know. Okay. All right. Well, um, describe um, an artist. I'm going I'm to ask you, like, what comes to mind? And just give me, like, one word. One word. Okay. Um, mm. J. Cole. J. Cole. Independent. Okay. Why would you say independent? Well, I say that because he moves like he's an independent artist. He, he moves how he wants to move. Um, he doesn't look for cosign. You know, at least from what I see, um, I don't really see him like jumping on waves or bandwagons. Like he just kind of moves his own way. And I think that's important nowadays. Okay. Um, legends, Nas. Queens. That's where I'm from. <laughs> okay. Queens all day and why? Okay. All right. Um, have you work with Nas before? No, no, but he's on my bucket list. Okay. Yeah, okay. shout out to Nas, man. That's that's uh, that's Queen's legend right there. I've met him before, um, but he cool guy, but he's definitely on my bucket list. Okay, okay. Nice. Any up and coming tours or anything or you know, concerts? Definitely. Um well I have a show coming up uh June second in Atlanta, um at Bar Chicks. Uh it's myself and uh I forty seven. We have a uh 
a release party slash show that we're doing um, at Bar Chicks, uh, which is Trina Braxton's spot. Okay. So if you're in Atlanta, come through. Um, it's going to be real dope, real epic. A lot of special guests coming through. Um, after that, I am planning a tour um, for my single and the album called The Blue Leisure Tour. Okay. So uh, that's going to be really dope. Um, probably about 20 cities. And um, I believe right now um, we're trying to get everything together. But I think uh, Bianca Bonnie uh, from Love of Hip Hop is going to be on a tour with me. Um, so okay. that's going to be real dope. Okay. We'll definitely be on the lookout for that. Absolutely. Okay. What else can we expect from you going forward? Man, just uh, more music, new music, the album, Blue Leisure. Um, really, right now, we're just focusing on the single, which is Blue Sunsets, uh, which is out right now. Uh, everywhere is doing phenomenal. Um, I think we're number 30 on the UK charts right now. Uh, we were just uh, number 25 on iTunes. Um, so we're just moving, man. Get ready to shoot the uh, the video, dropping real soon. So I'm okay. excited. Yeah. Okay, nice, nice. Yeah. Okay. Was there anything else that you want to promote or, you know, want to uh, our man, listeners just, to know? Just really Blue Sunsets, man. That's that's the biggest thing. That's my debut single. Um, I'm just happy everybody's supporting it and, and loving it. I'm doing it for R&B. I'm doing it uh, for the R&B lovers and just the culture, man. It's good music. I'm trying to bring good music back, you know? Okay. All right, we we can always use some great music. Yeah, definitely. we can always use that. Right, right. <laughs> okay, give us your social media handles. Yeah, so uh, you can follow me on uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook at King James Worthy. Um, I will follow you back. You know, we not we not boozy over here. And um, you can follow me on my my website too. Check out my website, kingjamesworthy.com. dot com. And uh, you know, just uh, be on the lookout for what we got going on. Absolutely. Well, it was a pleasure. Thank you for uh, having being me. With you and yeah. you know you checking in with us at Hip Hop Weekly. You know much, much success in your future endeavors. Thank you so much. Thank you.